we have a smart board, but really it could just be a projector as well. Um, and there are apps, uh, uh, online resources, as well as um, different video functions where you can project a virtual dissection of a frog. Um, now, if you have a smart board, you can do it physically, do it yourself so you can touch the screen and it cuts with the sound, opening up the frog. And underneath you can realize like, oh, this is exactly what the frog would look like if it was a perfect frog and I did a perfect cut and I did everything right. And for our kids, not only is that visual component so important because they're highly visual since they're compromised uh, in, in the language learning. So saying it might not be enough, reading it certainly isn't enough, but seeing it happen, then they have like almost a photographic memory. Okay, I make a cut incision this way, then this way, then this way, open up, pin, pin. They could tell you exactly what needs to happen after they've seen it and sort of touched it and done it themselves. Um, and then it creates far less anxiety <laughs> for kids who, let's face it, aren't uh, out catching frogs anymore in nature and cutting them open uh, <laughs> because they're curious. This is not something that's typically happening. So there's a lot of fear, like, well, what if I, you know, poke the wrong thing? Well, nothing happens. It's it's gonna be totally fine. So it uh, lessens the anxiety and then it creates this really awesome visual pattern in their mind um, that they are really able to express through drawing later on is what we found as well. For more information about effective assistive and instructional technology, please visit ctdinstitute.org. Funding for this video is provided by the Center on Technology and Disability through a grant from the United States Department of Education, Office of Special Education Programs.